There was amazing things about playing in the NFL, and we got a ton of gifts, but ultimately, Nate and our family paid a huge price for his career. Nate died from cardiomyopathia of the left ventricle, which basically just means the left ventricle had gotten so overused it could not pump anymore. And what the doctor said is that football players, because they are so athletic but also so big, it stresses their heart quite a bit. To come home and tell your kids that their father's dead is, it's, it's your worst nightmare. We're back with Kelsey, whose husband died suddenly after playing professional football for years. All right, Kelsey, knowing what you know now, will you ever let your son play football? No, uh, never. You know, I, Jack and I made that decision together yeah. once we knew the autopsy was coming back and that his heart, you know, his heart attack had to do with his, with his time on the field also. And then when we got the autopsy back on his brain, <laughs> uh, we both agreed it just, it didn't make any sense. Um, you know, I don't think I could have watched him take hits because now I know too much. And I said, if, if it comes back that his brain was affected, that he would have mm -hmm. been, you know, possibly disabled as he got older, I, mm -hmm. I just have to, I have to tell you, you'll never take a snap. And mm -hmm. I think that was hard for him because it was such a big part of our life. And I don't hate football at all. It gave us so many gifts. Um, you know, we loved being a part of the teams and we mm -hmm. loved so much about it. But this was about our life and health and safety. And so Jack agreed and... Honestly, he still watches it. He still loves it. Um, he still has all the pictures of, of his dad in his room, but he plays basketball now. Let's bring into the discussion brain health expert and psychiatrist, Dr. Daniel Amen. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Amen. Hey, Doc. So nice to be with everyone. Thanks Good for having me. Good to see you. So let's get right into it. What is your take on kids and contact sports like football? Your brain is soft, about the consistency of soft butter. Your skull is really hard and it has sharp, bony ridges. Your brain controls everything you do, how you think, how you feel, how you act, how you get along with other people. Um, it's just not rational to subject children to play contact sports where in football, you know, on average, there's a concussion a year. Mm. And, and it's not the big hits. Uh, I did one of the first, I think the first uh, brain imaging study on active and retired NFL players. We've done 300 players. The level of damage is really clear. Um, so why, why would you do it? And parents will go, but he wants to. And I'm like, well, if he wanted to do cocaine, would that be okay with you? Because uh, the level of damage is about the same. 